what's up YouTube I'm over here I'm trying to figure out um oh, hold on can you hear me I know that air is loud isn't it well anyway I'm on my way to go pick up um, littles so I said I might as well record something Ooh. and just say what's up to the people I haven't really posted in a thousand years so what's going on in the world y'all oh my gosh I was watching something and oh no I was on Twitter that's what it was and girl it was like Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears was all over the um, internet because they had been diddling the children, honey. They playing with the babies, honey. They out here. They out here doing quote unquote funny skits. The two most unfunniest motherfuckers on earth want to do a skit about being pedos, being chomos why is that funny and apparently she um tiffany did another skip um with what's his name aries about um some like bill cosby thing i think that was the one without the kids and then to make things more raggedy and trifling with this whole like chomo skit situation is like she was friends with the kid's mom? She's friends with this kid's mom. And she gonna tell homegirl, her friend, oh yeah, sis, I got um, I got a great role for um, the kids. Um, Nickelodeon, blah, blah, blah. Subway commercial. And then she got this little girl acting like she's with a with a subway sandwich acting like she's sucking a dick or something what and then she got the little boy he's like seven or something in a bathtub with nasty ass airy spears i'm grown 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 married with kids grown and i don't want to be in a tub with that fat uh, excuse me that's not nice i don't want to be in a tub with Mojo Jojo. I don't, I just, he's, he looks like the Mucinex man. That is disgusting. Nobody should ever. That's bestiality, honey. Disgusting. Electric chair. And people are like, I don't know. I see more, I see more Tiffany Haddish headlines, it seems been Aries and I don't know why because I don't know maybe because she's the bigger name right but they were both part of this they were both the adults that participated in this and then so who directed this whose idea was this also I feel like they need to be involved in this lawsuit as well. They need to be getting sued as well, not just Tiffany and Aries. The actors, yeah, they participated and it is disgusting, but who facilitated this entire thing? Let's cut the snake by the head. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's just my humble, unsolicited opinion, honey, on this, but, go ahead, honey, I'm gonna go, girl, you better not, you, thank you, thank you, Michael Jackson, beat it, <sighs> I'm almost here now, honey, I'll talk to y'all later, I love you so much, and I'm just so, um, this world is crazy, man. We got to protect our kids, even from people. And it's so sad that we just really can't trust anybody, even people that we think we can trust with our kids. We can't. And it's it's just such a shame. And it's, it's disheartening. It's really disheartening because, like, man, 
you can't trust your friends i know people who relatives you know have done been inappropriate and done vile things with people's kids and you know or even with their own kids you know what i'm saying like i've i've known instances where you know i've had friends who told me that even their parents have you know had inappropriate <laughs> things happen with them and their you know their parents have done they you know oh, i don't even want to think about it oh my god but it's like gosh oh it's scary scary place man where we're living in it's like you want to just put your babies in a bubble man <laughs> and don't let nobody ever Ugh. but gosh you want your children to like experience things in the world and you know be renaissance men and women and enjoy life and enjoy all that the world has to offer but then also on the other hand you're afraid to even let them out because there's psychos out here that's trying to put their penises in their you know body part in their you know it's just disgusting out here also and like oh my god i just want to like you don't want to be in jail for like tearing someone's throat out of their out of their eye sockets or something. Is that my? Oh yeah, he did wear a sweater this morning. I was like, is that my baby boy? He got on a blue sweater and a gray sweatpants. <laughs> he picked that out because he had on. I the outfit I chose it was a matching fit. It was like a sweater the it was a blue sweater with um a fox on it but the bottoms to it it was a set so the bottoms were it was like a light gray but it had the foxes the same fox that was on it i think it's from like carter's or you know carter's oshkosh i don't be spending a whole bunch of millions of dollars on these kids clothes they go into daycare and playing around in them like we're not doing a whole bunch we're not we're not spending you know, millions of dollars on children's clothes and go to the playground and get dirty, filthy. Absolutely not. Um, these kids can go right to Target. These kids can go right to walk. <laughs> Please. When we go out, out, you can get cute. And even then, because you outgrow things, they outgrow things so fast. This is daycare. You know what I'm saying? So, um, God bless. But, Anyway, love your kids, man. Protect them. Protect other people's kids. Two, don't let it just be, you know, your own kids that you're protecting. If you see something, whoop ass. Don't let nobody fuck up or fuck, hello, huh, other people's kids either. Shit. Love y'all. Be safe. I'm not out.